Hi, I'm Nick with Minard's Leisure World, and uh, I'm standing right in front of the new 2021 Cedar Creek Cottage 40 CFK2. Looking forward to showing this to you because it's got a little bit different floor plan. However, what's really neat is the brand new decor inside. So you'll be quite excited to see this. Anyway, the CFK2 is a front kitchen. So this is, these are the windows that overlook your yard looking right out onto the road coming in, so you can always see your guests as they arrive. Something that's very different about Cedar Creek in general is that they don't laminate their walls. They actually have a high, high gloss fiberglass on the outside, but they, bring, they build this with a 16 inch off center uh, studs and then put the pink insulation inside. What you'll notice when you go into a Cedar Creek is that it actually sounds quieter on the inside. It's a good feeling and you'll, you'll be, really appreciate the quality that this is. When you look at the Cedar Creek, make sure that you look on the undercarriage. The enclosed underbelly has a totally different look than any other RV that you've seen because they all have the coroplast that is in the enclosure. These have actual plastic molded plates, which are quite different. As we go down, we've got the large slide with an awning, armless awning, so you don't have those bars coming down on the side that you might bump into as you walk around. It has the more ride solid steps, but these are removable, so you can use them for your patio deck. As you look up, you'll see it's prepped for an observation camera, so you can use an observation camera as, as a security cam as well. And so it's very easy to set that up, just a couple screws put that camera inside for you. Patio doors, of course, right in the middle of the coach, going into the kitchen living room. As we go down the coach, you'll see the second door. This goes into the hallway for the bathroom, the uh, controls for the slide outs, and also into the bedroom. On the back of the coach, this is actually the bedroom that's back here, so it's a quieter bedroom because it's away from the road noise out front. Big window, also the observation camera so that you can see what's all around your coach. As you look down the side, a little bit of storage under the bed inside. And I wanted you to see the, uh, the water heater because it's probably about three times the size of a normal RV. So you're going to find that you're going to have a lot more water because this is your home cottage away from home for, for the summer. Okay, as we enter the patio doors on the CFK2, you'll have a look at the bright, airy kitchen, kitchen living room. Hide a bed, right, right as soon as you walk in. Kitty corner so that you can visit across uh, from, from the chairs if you've got a couple, two couples inside. Television right aside. The other thing that you're going to notice is that there's lots and lots of storage in here. Going across to the TV, the fireplace of course will give off heat during the day if we're in the early morning just to take the chill off for you. Pull out the spice rack. Again, neat use of space all the way around. It has a built-in uh, vacuum cleaner, lots of storage again in this huge countertop. And look how clean that looks because there's nothing in there. There's, there's no sink dropped into that place. You have the sink right up front. Pa or pantry. And this is also pretty nifty because you've got the drawers that will come right out. People have talked about you can even put your coffee pot in here if you want or your toaster. And so it becomes an electronic appliance center because there's a plug-in inside here. Two-door residential style fridge with freezer on the bottom. And again, it's unbelievable space. That's almost like a separate room for you. And there's the kitchen. Look at the space on here. You've got, uh, like when you're doing dishes, You've got the large sink on one side, and again, stainless steel, undermounted sink, beautiful. This is overlooking the front of the, the uh, driveway, so with the blinds open, you can see people coming in and out. The blinds, they're twofold. One is for blackout, one is just to get rid of that harsh sun that's coming in. However, besides that, this is also quite tinted windows so you can see that it's going to even with the with that screen up you're still going to have it somewhat shaded in the dinette again this is overlooking your park 
windows up, you're sitting here having a coffee in the morning and you can watch the deer go by through your yard. You've got table with an extension, just pulls out gently and then drops into place. So you've got extra space on here, even storage space in the chairs, of course. And then back to the electric recliners. So that's where you can get complete total relaxation because that, that will stop anywhere that you want. It's not like the mechanical ones where there, there are certain spots that it'll stop. So you will be comfortable in these. The bathroom is where this is really quite amazing. It's so residential looking and the class of this, like with the bright white and the black fixtures and everything, it just looks beautiful. You have cabinetry on the inside, loads of space for you to store stuff. Shower, lots of space again, like it's a two-person shower with the, just the beautiful residential fixtures inside. In the vanity, again, all on roller bearings, the drawers, lots of drawer space, places to put towels and, and what have you, but a double sink. So you've got two, or one large sink, I guess, but it has two faucets on it. And above the porcelain toilet, you have medicine cabinet as well. Just outside the bathroom, you have cabinet for a closet to hang your coats, but it also has the controls for your slide outs and the lighting as you come in. Back inside the bedroom, Again, it has that second door, king-size bed, and what's so nice about this, again, the, the decor is beautiful in this. Got a place to put your phones or, your, or equipment that you might require. It's got USB ports, plug-ins, cabinetry for storage, again, and look how deep those are. At the foot of the bed is a closet. This is where your Wi-Fi booster is placed, and that uh, gives you extra Wi-Fi space, as well as cabinetry, of course, and more drawers, like your dresser at home. Above that, of course, is a television, which you will need to have. Inside the closet, and again, the glass on this is, is, is fantastic, but inside the full-length closet, you have the, the washer-dryer prep, if you're planning that and then just these beautiful doors are sliding doors are marvelous okay well thank you for following me through the cedar creek cottage cfk2 large fridge large bedroom beautiful decor in in this unit i'm nick corlick from minards in weyburn and we're still celebrating two locations one in weyburn and one in watrous saskatchewan please give us a call if you have any questions or check us out online for more RV ideas.